In this recording, we'll see how to replicate data from Oracle Marketing or Eloqua using Oracle Analytics Cloud. To replicate from Eloqua, first create a replication connection. This is a specific connection used for data replication and is different from the regular connections that we normally create in DV. Choose Eloqua as the connection type, enter the connection details, Site name is the company name that we use while logging into Eloqua. Enter the username, password, and save. Next, let's create a replication connection to our target database. Target could be Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud, Big Data Cloud, or Oracle Database Cloud. Let's choose Oracle Database as the target. Enter the connection details to your target database, your host name, port, wallet file to connect to the cloud database, username, password, and the service name. Save the connection. Once our source and target connections are created, we can define a data replication. Choose marketing cloud connection, which is created, and the target database. We can change the schema where we want our replication tables to be created. We need to ensure that the schema has appropriate privileges to create objects. Let's stick to the default admin schema. Here we see a list of the available objects. Show data store paths option displays the full name of the view objects. Let's choose the contact object. It brings up all the details of the objects. A load type can be incremental or full load. Now, in case of incremental load, new data identifier columns are already pre-selected. In case of large tables, we can select just a subset of the columns by unchecking the rest. We have the option to filter the data set that we are replicating. To do that, we need to type in the filter expression. For large data sets, we have the option to add a replicate from that will only bring in data from that date. Some view objects can record history. To replicate those, we can check the include history option. We can select multiple objects within a single data replication definition. Selected tab shows all the objects that are selected. We've chosen contact and campaign objects for selection. Let's save this uh, definition. Once it is saved, we can go and look at our replication definition. We can either schedule the replication job to run at a later point in time. We have a bunch of scheduling options with different frequency. We can also run it ad hoc. Let's run it now by clicking the run option. We can monitor the execution either from the screen or from the jobs console screen. Once the job is completed, Let's go to our target database instance and refresh the tables. We see that the contact and campaign tables have been created in our target database as part of the uh, replication run. 